Hello and welcome to Lucid English TV. I hope you are staying safe wherever you are. I wish you the best. Uh, today we will continue the series on summary writing. We have done the introduction. We have provided 10 tips in the last video. You see the two videos up there or down here. Kindly watch, like, learn, and subscribe. I appreciate uh, viewers and uh, those who have subscribed so far. Alright, today we are going to be looking at the exposition. In this exposition, we intend to do a practical session. We are going to have a question and I'm going to provide solution to that question. So I hope you, you will enjoy this video and learn a lot from this video. So moving on, we have the passage here. So for the first question, we have seen a striking point here. He only knows that he is comfortable or comfortable. And uh, we also know that uh, in a strange world. Now if you look at the sentence, uh, sentence here, he only knows that he is comfortable or comfortable, hungry or satisfied. That's the whole sentence. Now when you're hungry, you're uncomfortable. When you're satisfied, you're comfortable. That means this one. It's just meant to develop the two uh, words provided here okay so and uh, the, the following sentence the succeeding sentences here are also as also developing the idea of comfortable or uncomfortable you may pause the video to read the passage carefully so you can have a grasp of what i'm trying to say here i'm moving from that place he knows the voice that suits him and sings to him he grows to know who responds to his needs when he cries out, this is a special person in the old strange new world. Now that is the new environment, strange. So how does he perceive his new environment? So let's answer our first question. A, okay, uh, I, that's number one. So you number out your sentences like this and you make sure you don't leave mindlessly and you are writing full sentences. Uh, first sentence now, an infant recognizes only comfort. Okay, that's when the idea of being comfortable or this comfort in this environment. Okay, that's about that. Second one, let's see, let's move on. Second point two, okay. And because you must answer the question, how does a newborn infant? Okay, you may choose to use a newborn infant too. Okay, so you answer the question directly. A new born infant. Can you see that? Good. So I've answered the question with what I have seen in the passage. I've identified my point in the passage, and I've answered the question. This particular question based on what I've seen in the past, and I didn't leave mind this. You still go back to check that. The second one, uh, don't forget our sentence are expected to be independent. So, I, I'm, I it's not advisable for me to use a pronoun here. If I use a pronoun, it that means I'm linking this second sentence to the first one here. So, a newborn, a newborn infant, okay. Uh, perceives, perceives is a reverence as a strange world. Good. So we have that about that. So let's let's go back and, and check what we have done. Uh, he only knows that's what he knows about the environment. No strange new world. Good. So we have two points there. Now let's see what does the second question say. So we have another question number one. So let's leave that in red because we are using red color for the first question. Good. So let's leave that in red. Good. So let's move on to B now. 
B. Okay, we are not using let me not using uh, red for B. So let's go back to black. B. B says in one sentence, say what an infant first learns about its parents. Okay, since the process is consistent, its parents. Okay, let's see what we have there. What learn about his parents? Let's see. Now look at everything here. Gradually, the months go by. He begins to know who brings comfort when he is uncomfortable and food when he is hungry. He comes to know the feel of the hand that holds him close when he eats and holds him safe in his bath. Now we must not copy this thing like this, it's wrong. We must not live mindlessly, we must look for the striking point or a general idea that will capture everything being said here. He knows the voice that suits him and sings to him. So let's see, he goes to, to know who responds to his needs when he cries. Can you see? So all of these are responding to his needs. So the word need here is very striking. Who responds to his needs okay so let's see which color should we use now let's use that okay let's see this color for it so let's move on so to two now that's just a sentence okay so let's write that uh a new newborn Okay, in, in the question an infant is used, so you can you can adopt an infant there. That will not be wrong. An infant, an infant, uh, first, and this parents Needs, yeah, that's it. So you can see complete sentence. Let's uh, experience uh, people respond to his need. One, we have we, we, we have identified our point there, and we have written in such a way that it answers this question. Okay, you can see the word first year is very striking, and we must not strike it out. It's one of the things the examiner will be looking out for if you actually know. What you are doing and the word needs there is uh, a central idea that is pointing in that particular paragraph. Let's move on to the next one. C S C C now. Which is the third question. C let's come down a bit. C okay C Okay. Not using, uh, not using blue for C, so which color is a different color for C there? Okay, let's go. The question says in two sentences, see what parents learn about their child as he grows up. Okay, let's go up. I think we have exhausted all the points in paragraph one, so let's move to paragraph two very fast. Uh, the mother and father who care for a child will listen for his voice and try to interpret what he means, will comfort him, feed him and play with him, discover for the first time what it is to be parents. They are only discovering that for themselves, not for the child. The question says, what do they learn about the child first, okay? Not, you know, this is one thing they have come to realize. So that this first point, you know, it's not relevant to the story you are doing right now. It's allowed in the passage, okay? It's not in line with the question we are asked. So let's move on so that you don't pick away from there. So the next one, they do not do not become parent by the virtue of conception and better alone, okay? They grow to be parent just as the infant grows to recognize them as such. They come to know the developing trait, okay? That's it. They come to know the developing traits of the child in a way no person can, okay? Developing trait of a child. This is a striking point. This is the central idea that uh, is very key to the question we ask. So let's go to the question again. 
Question 6 in 2 sentences say what the parents learn about their child as he grows up. So let's see. Uh, they recognize whether he is a lost eater, a nibbler, vicious, or sad, adventurous, or cautious. By observing his intellectual and physical abilities, pay attention. They also also they also get to know what he will become in the future. Good. So we have our two answers here. So we must not leave them like this. I'll be looking mindlessly and we lose map for that. So we have to write them out. So let's see the first idea there. How do we write that out? Let's see. Quite easy. Uh, no, we're not using this color for this. What color are we using again? Okay, good. So let's move on. Ah, the parents, that's the question. Parents, the parents learn, learn, don't forget, don't forget you want your sentences, must be grammatically correct, developing, they must be acceptable, and they must be elegant. Sentences also must be complete, okay. And you try as much as possible to avoid irrelevant ideas, extraneous ideas. We've said that before. The parent learn the developing trait of the child, okay. What's the one thing they learn as said in the passage, okay? To let's see, the parents. So you can see I'm not using they to replace them. Parents, because I'm trying to, as many as possible to ensure that each sentence is standing on its own, okay, and not leaning on another sentence. The parent learns what the child may become in future. Can you see that? So that's very easy. One sentence summarizes what a responsible parent often has to do in the interest of the child. Sometimes, because of their responsibility to their child, parents have to do unpleasant things. So if you read this, they have, to, for instance, so all these, for instance, they are just this, for instance, now all these instances here. I used to develop this point, and the basic point is the topic sentence in this paragraph is parents have to do unpleasant things and that's the, the answer so we have to write that out first the color should be different what's the color we use for number three yeah okay so yeah, here you go and uh, this is for number one yeah, this is for question d so let's use a green color for that. okay so how do you write that out uh d Okay, alright, very, very, very easy, very, very easy. So, a responsible parent, in one sentence, no matter what, a responsible parent, a responsible parent has to take on pleasant, pleasant actions that's all by the summary we have answered all the questions on this summary very very easy and direct so don't forget to like our video and uh, don't forget to like our video we have done the class activity so uh, drop a comment below if there is any question you have to ask you can ask us in the comment below and uh, If you have any passage you want to suggest you can suggest the passage here If you have the material you can send it to me. I will solve them and provide answers to them for you Thank you very much. Don't forget again to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're welcome to lucidenglish.com